pulling out of our garage at Maxwell Place in Hoboken. Live La Isla to the right, Starbucks to the right, Hudson Coffee. Here's Maxwell Lane. You can see they boarded up the Hoboken Vet Animal Clinic. The new construction at 1000 Maxwell. They closed off all the parking here. The protest is going to happen at Maxwell Place Park, directly in front of us. I'm assuming to the right, I'm not sure. There's not a lot of grass there, but I guess they're going to start uptown and then work their way downtown. Or maybe they're going to march down Sinatra Drive. It looks like they've closed the street and there looks like they're going to tow some cars. I see some tow trucks up front. So I'm assuming the protest rally is going to work its way downtown along Frank Sinatra the Drive over here. We have the Hoboken Skate Park on the left hand side. There's two tow trucks here. It looks like they're gonna move those cars. And then to the right, they're building Stevens. Some more housing. So this is all closed off. They have some big cranes up above, up ahead there. I just hope it's a peaceful protest. As we head downtown, you're gonna see a lot of uh, businesses that have boarded up. You know, a lot of people are worried about all the violence that has taken place all over the world, unfortunately. Mr. John. over here. I know Liberty Realty closed today. the W Hotel up on our left. It's very quiet down here right now. We have the corporate office buildings directly ahead. Yeah, you can see Joseph Banks boarded up, work it out, Subway, City Blank, City Bank, all closed today. The folks at my uh, one of my office buildings here, 95 River, Wells Fargo Bank is boarded up, Birch. Weikert. Wow, 
all the bars boarded up. Bean Vault boarded up. North Street all boarded up. What a shame. What a, what is this, this is terrible. It's really bad. And I think they're gonna end along Pier A, which is on our, our right hand side here. Barricades. All this is closed off. All the parking. Toe zone here. So yeah, so along the park. There's not a lot of real estate or grass, so I'm assuming it's gonna be be in the streets. Yeah, I'm surprised the Del Frisco's didn't board up, but the rest of them the rest of them all boarded up down the line. Go towards uh, police headquarters now. At least this guy's got his face mask on. I hope a lot of people are wearing their mask and social distancing. I mean, we've been fortunate here in Hoboken with the COVID-19 cases. Our numbers have have been relatively low, and there's only been. There hasn't been a case in uh, in about four or five days now, so I hope we do not see a spike in two weeks. They're just they're closing the garages. They're not full. They're closed. They don't want to deal with the shenanigans. Sushi lounge boarded up. Police headquarters, all this is the streets are closed, no parking, tow zones. So, police headquarters beefed up today. Five Marine View shut down. I see more boards going up here over on uh, Newark. Wow, they got a wall of barricades. I'm gonna go around the block here. We're right at the path. All the all the tow trucks here are gonna ready to tow everybody. There's no parking allowed. As you can see, there's more more boards going up here. Left towards the path. Pig and Parrot is shuttered. This whole block is shuttered. Dunkin' Donuts closed today. Anything downtown is shut down. Nobody's open. We got the path train here. They're getting ready to shutter. Joboken Cafe as we speak. Pizza places up here, all all shut. The hair salon. I mean, obviously they're not open yet, but Texas, Arizona, all all shuttered down here. Not one business, not one window is open. I mean, look at this barricade. Wow, wow. The Clambroth House, unbelievable. They got a they got a biggest barricade I've seen in my life. Eureka closed my my co-working office space not opening today due to all this uh mayhem that's going on down here flower shop the chiropractor there you'll see up on the right kodak jewelers uh shuttered all their locations cleared out inventory nothing nothing here in hoboken everything's safe in a vault Jewelers 
shuttered all the all the businesses down on uh, on, on Washington Street. Maybe we'll do a quick loop around my office, and then we'll come back up. We got City Hall up on the right hand side here. We'll go down Newark. We'll come up Park. We'll go around. Um, just to take a look at First Street real quick. Looks like they're shuttering the liquor stores. Closed today. I hope everybody's stocked up. We're not going anywhere. Yeah, prime, prime real estate group. It's my office up on the left hand side. So we have First Street. I see a couple, the juice place is shuttered. up here little city little city books sometimes people just do not stop at stop signs so we have Carlos bakery up on the left Keller Williams is uh, is shuttering. You hear the the generator running their uh, power tools here to board up. You can see the hammering of the nails going on here. City Hall up on the right. KW Keller Keller Williams. Boy. They have to actually build frames. I mean, all these all these buildings, you know, they're all storefront glass, and there's nowhere to put boards up. So they have to actually build a, build a structure, you know, to set these up. It's, uh, what a what a sight to see. You think you think there's a hurricane coming tonight? You know, it's a hurricane. Wow. I mean, it wasn't even this bad in Sandy. All shuttered. La Isla, AT&T, Palisade Medical, Hoboken Hair, Bubble Tea, Mills Tavern. Got more. Even Ace Hardware. Ace Hardware is boarded. They got plenty of tools. Halstead, Basic Market, Black Bear. All, all, uh, all hunkered down here. Oh, the brass rail is staying Hoboken strong. Let's hope, uh, let's hope those windows stay strong. They really do. Yeah, Black Bear, Better Homes, the Tally Ho. I don't know if I've ever been there. <laughs> Been in Hoboken for 10 years. Maybe when I was up here 20 years ago. Uh, let's see. Wow. Yeah, the um, Frankie and Avis has some boards coming up right now. Washington Liquors shut. Yeah, you got a. You can't even tell. I don't even know. Is that Gap? Um, well, I mean, they just they just took the logos off their right off their windows, so nobody knows. Prominent properties shut down. Wow, this this whole row, Athleta. I heard there was some targeted emails. Ah, uh, boy, beauty salons. Yeah, so I heard there was an interception of emails that you know, all the major retailers, you know, would have been targeted. So, uh, you know, they're going to have probably people up on these roofs watching. It's a shame. Brook and Bell, um, right here on fourth street clothing, clothing store. Uh, I mean, they, they were, they were going to have a grand opening and then, you know, COVID unfortunately, but they're up on the right. 
really nice ladies over there. Hope they do really well. Planet Sun. It's the only one that's boarded up here. Planet Sun. Uh, I mean, boys, I don't know about this uh, cardboard on uh, the Hoboken Daily News, but I don't think that's going to really do too much. Karma Cafe is open, but, but, but boarded up. Medley, Midtown, Viva Nails, more, more boards. Warby Parker, welcome to town. Hoboken Wireless, Planet Fitness is, is shuttered. These gyms reopen after COVID. More boards going up here. Smoke Shop, Mikey Squared, Soul Curry, Mango Mango. Wow, even a even a even a darn funeral home home is boarded up. I mean, geez, what are they? Uh, oh, that's that's really sad. <laughs> that's that's terrible. That is that is really terrible. Wow, the Shade Store is not. Uh, it's a brand new brand new building there. Brand new. Welcome to Hoboken here. Let's see what else we have up here. Well, this Duncan's not shuttered, but the other one down downtown by the train is. Be nice, uh, nice crosswalks and bike lanes and time lighting. The Hoboken um, Washington Street project. I mean, it took took a few years, but. They really pulled it off. I mean, the streets are now paved. It's it's a real dream to be riding the streets again. Alba, the nail salon here, shuttered. See boards going up at that that school. I mean, this is just construction. The dental. I see more boards going up. Bagels on the Hudson, Show Nail, Vitos. You know, they're uh, iconic. You know, for the mutts here in town. Big Moots Festival. Yeah, Hoboken Mile Square. Um, you know, 15 minutes. I was uptown. You know, I'm back. Uh, you know, I was uptown to downtown and and, and back uptown. It's uh, you know, good good area, good community. You know, walk and bike and. You know, get out and enjoy. Uh, orthodontics, Muller Insurance is, is boarded. I know they have some security cameras. Special, you know, the uh, Better Life here, shuttered. I see more Farag, more boards going up. The coffee shop, Yash Liquors, really nice folks. m and Bank, Jungle Juice. I mean, you can't even can't even see them. Or on, you know, boards boards up against the logo. You can't even. Tell. So, Alina, nothing. But yeah, new new storefront. They're uh, partners across the street. I think it's Lombardi's. Um, I mean, they just finished uh, construction of the outside there, so they're 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 boarded up there. Yeah, you got you know more liquor, more cleaners, all all boarded up. Garden, Chinese cuisine, all all under boards. I don't even remember who's at twelve fourteen. Can't even see the the front bicycle shop boarded from the inside. Wow, they got double double plywood. swing back around on uh, 14th Street we'll come I know I, I saw Dino and Harry's was boarded up a couple of days ago Have our God kids down here on uh, 
Bloomfield Street, three blocks from us. I got a text, disaster. Oh boy, I hope everything's okay. Text her back in a minute. Barb's here. Um, Malibu Dining is uh, opening up some outdoor seating here. That's gonna be real nice. Sports Club and CVS, um, you know, probably a little quieter over in this this corner. Plus, there's a lot more traffic and visibility. Yeah, really, uh, really bike friendly. I thought that was our friends. <laughs> Dino and Harry's, no takeout today, unfortunately. They're they're completely shuttered. Completely boarded up. I mean, I know they were filming a movie here about six or every, six or seven months ago. Engel and Volker. Um, and Urban Cole House. Now you can do uh, you know, pick up curbside um, you know, drinks and whatnot. Yeah, the the chiropractor here all be a little boarded up. This whole, this whole corner. Planet Sun. All shuttered. We got a new uh, dentist coming in. Pro Health Riverside Dental. And now we're here at the shipyard. Creative Interiors. It's boarded up. And on the right you got the Sparrow, and you have uh, Rite Aid, and Kings, and you have the ferry, ferry straight ahead, which hasn't been running, you know, due to COVID, and uh, yeah, here we are back up at the, um, you know, the waterfront, so you have Pier, Pier 13, Gringo Taco sitting on the, sitting on the pier there, all alone, to all the shipyard, and then Approaching, uh, you know, Maxwell Place on the right hand side along the waterfront. I see they already have police presence here. The helicopter sitting above, too. Okay, they got the sheriff. Sniper sitting up on our, on our rooftop. Just to keep an eye. 16 handles and uh, there's the here's the uh, the waterfront park here with Maxwell Place where they're going to start. No parking along um, you know along these streets here allowed today. Completely shut down. Anybody will be towed. And uh, you know Hoboken. Um, you know we they just opened uh, Hoboken Vet. You know completely boarded up here. Uh, oh yeah, and the other side is um, Kodak Jeweler shuttered and you got a. A thousand Maxwell. So yeah, so that's uh, yeah, how about the vets here? So that kind of completes our our quick tour, you know, of a drive through Hoboken. You know, looks like it may be a rainy day later. You know, hopefully the crowds are um, 
you know, ruly and listening. So I hope everybody just stays safe.